we're going to give you an example of if you let your mind work for you and these tools, you can find ways of doing things that you never thought you'd be able to do. You're stuck by yourself. You've set your track, laid your sled over, packed snow under the track, got your skis straightened up, sled's ready to come out. You're down to the point now where you're standing beside the sled and you're going to push, throttle the sled and push the column. You know if you just had somebody giving you a tug on a ski, you'd probably be out of this hole. You also know that without that little tug, you're probably going to be spinning your track, you're going to be stuck again. This snow bungee rattler, it'll either take 200 pounds of weight off pulling on a ski, or you set yourself up right, it'll take the same 200 pounds off hooked up like this by myself again. I've got my track ready to go, my skis are ready to go, my sled's ready to go. All I need is that little tug on my sled. I'm going to stand on my throttle side, set my snow, myself in the snow, arm straight, lean forward, stretch rattler as hard as I can, and tap my throttle. So I'm taking the 200 pounds off, it's just like somebody pulling on my ski, lean forward like that, tap my throttle, spin the track. I might have to move up again, set myself up again, do it again. Pretty soon we have the sled up in good snow and we're ready to go. So that's just uh, another way that you can use one of these tools. You just let your mind do the work for you.